Um, I wanted to do my main favorites, get that out there for you guys. Um, I have uh, a few things that I've been really enjoying this month. And they're just variety, beauty, household, um, you know, just things that are just kind of making um, making their way to my everyday life and I've been really enjoying them. And I kind of wanted to put them out there for you guys to see if you guys have tried them, if you like them. Beauty products? Or if you haven't, give them a try. Beauty products, my first thing up is going to be the Garnier BB Cream. Um, it has SPF 15 and light medium. You guys see that there? Um, I love this stuff. I usually will use this when um, I'm going to work or if it's going to be like a short eight hour shift or if we're going to do like softball or um, like going to the pool and I want to kind of like throw something on. I'm not one of those girls who wears makeup to the pool, but sometimes um, I will do like the BB cream. When I was in Florida, I lived in this stuff because it was hot and it gave me the sunscreen that I wanted and um, it gave me a, a, some coverage. So I really like it. It's, I think it's better. It's, it is better than the MAC BB cream. It's better than the Smashbox BB cream. It's, um, it's as comparable to the IT Cosmetics CC cream. Not as thick, but it, uh, this, the MAC or the IT Cosmetics CC cream is pretty thick, but this one is like number two to that. So, um, if you're in the market, this is what it looks like. I get the oil free run. So make sure you guys remember that, the oil-free one, because the other one makes your skin super oily. So oil-free. Um, yeah, so I think this is like seven bucks. Uh, the other few things I have here are from ColourPop. The first one is going to be this um, brow pencil here. I lost the tip, but uh, yeah, let's see. It looks like that. Ooh, I don't know if you guys can see that. Looks like that. This one is in Dope Taupe. Um, five dollars. You know, Anastasia is twenty-five. So these, this is pretty legit. ColourPop is so underrated. Um, I mean, brilliant, brilliant advertising, brilliant color uh, payoff. Everything about that company is so good that I'm almost mad at myself that I didn't come up with it. I mean, love them. Love everything about them. Love their pricing. Um, their shipping is great. I have no complaints for them. So yeah, first one is Dope Taupe. Um, I have it on my eyebrows today. This Dope Taupe is pretty legit. I use it for, um, I like my eyebrow to be a little bit lighter. I don't like a real dark, harsh eyebrow. I think it brings age and some droopiness to the face. So I think a light eyebrow, you know, not too carved out, makes you look more youthful. And you know, I'm 33, I wanna look youthful. So um, five bucks, can't beat it. Next one we have from ColourPop is their Cream Gel Eyeliner in Call Me. So this is what it looks like. You see here, yep, and it, here, let me swat, oh shoot. All right, it comes out like that, can you see? So it, and it retracts back in, and that's the color. It's just like a chocolate brown. Um, I love this. It doesn't. I have very, very sensitive eyes. It doesn't affect my eyes. Doesn't make my eyes water. Um, I actually reach for this one more than I reach for my Marc Jacobs um, highlighter. So that's telling you. And I think this one was five dollars also. Um, it doesn't run. Uh, and I think chocolate brown looks so looks so stunning, and it can do so much for an eye. Um, you know, instead of, you know, what she should do, here's the challenge to you guys. If you are a black eyeliner person and can say, hey, you know what, I can never wear anything else but black eyeliner, get yourself a chocolate brown and exchange it on your waterline, um, even on your top and smoke it out with some eyeshadow. It's going to look so beautiful because it's light and it just, it just brings a whole different dimension. It doesn't close you off. It makes your eyes look brighter. It's more sultry. It's, it's um it's really complimentary. So yeah, ColourPop, Call Me Eyeliner, and another another very big win for me from that company. Uh, the last thing I have here from ColourPop is this Alyssa Ultra Satin Lip. Um, I'm actually have it on my lip today. It's like it comes like in the same tube as their matte formula, but it's a satin and it doesn't their matte lipsticks are very drying i will say that about them and it would 
like flake and um, like kind of give you that that line right here and I would wear them to work and then you're trying to take them off and you it gets to be messy so this one lasts all day it doesn't dry out and um, I really like it that's it right there so it's like a pretty like mauvey pink I love it love it love it on my lips today I highly recommend it I guess it. this is good stay underneath we'll go with body okay so this is the Elba Very Emollient Sunless Tanner, Golden Tanning Without the Sun. So this is what it looks like. I got mine at Marshall, $7.99. This is my second one. I love this. Um, I wore it, um, I went to a concert um, over the summer, or a few weeks ago. So I made sure, um, oh, and I had a baby shower. So I went ahead and I um, did a couple coats. I did two coats when I did the baby shower. There was no streaking, it looks natural no one could even tell but i could tell that i looked tanner but there like i said there was no streaking it doesn't smell um it does come out white so there's no um if you could see there's no uh what do you call that um guide so some people may not like it for that reason um i follow this girl on uh on snapchat fb and fat that's what her name is and she's always 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 like raving about this so i went ahead and picked it up and i mean like i said i like it it um i wore it like I said, once I went to that concert, and the next day I had went to my mom's, and my sister was like, oh, did you go tanning? And I was like, no, girl. Fake bake. So, um, yeah, I highly recommend it. It's, I see it all the time at um, Marshall's, so when I see it, I grab it. So I think this this company's, oh, 100% vegetarian ingredients. No par parabens, phthalates, or animal testing. So there you go. That's even better, right? It's easy to use, non-streaky formula, quickly absorbs for natural looking tan in less than three hours. So go for it. Give it a try. If you guys try it, let me know. The next thing for body is this, um, this Suave Body Wash in Sweet Pea and Violet. So I've seen the commercial, you know, where like they test the people and they're like, oh, which one do you prefer? And it's the Suave or the uh, Bath and Body Works. People are like, oh, it's Suave. I prefer Suave. And I was like, Bullshit. No one ever prefers Suave to Bath and, Suave to Bath and Body Works. So um, I was at Target the other day and I've been using Soap and Glory because you know they start to carry them. And um, I had thought either I had my eczema came back from when I was a kid or um, I had like keto rash because you know I'm on the keto diet because I was having like serious like rashes on my arms. And I was like, and I had one on my stomach and I was like, what the hell is going on? So, um, I was like, you know what? I really thought it was the the soap from Soap and Glory because it smelled so good, and I loved how like foamy it got. But it didn't stay on my skin, and I don't know. For the price, I was just, it just I think it was more the name that got me. So, anyways, um, I was looking for a new wash, and you know, hashtag balling on a budget. So I found um, this here, and I had the baby with me, and we're all about like sniffing stuff, and this one smells so good it says it's uh compares to sweet pea from bath and body i think this one smells better than sweet pea because i didn't like the way sweet pea smelled and it smells so good leaves your skin so soft i mean legitimately so soft and it stays on your skin like you can smell it and even like my husband will even notice like hey did you did you get any lotion like what's you got a lot going on there and but it's not it smells so good the kids i'll like i'll shower the girls with it and when they come home from school and they've been like running and playing, I'll, uh, I'll still smell it on them. So, and I think it's like a dollar or two. I don't know, highly worth it. Um, I'm gonna try out some other fragrances, but the Sweet Pea one is, is pretty bomb. Another, it's pretty actually bomb. Here product. This is the AG Hair Care Dry Wax Matte Finishing Mist for texture. And this is what it looks like. Um, it comes with a little spray knob there. And I love AG Hair Products. It smells like real florally, like floral, florally, florally, flowery, flowery. Let's go flowery. Um, it smells so good, and it's uh, it's so bomb. Ag is legitimately overpriced. I mean, it's not. It's expensive. Um, my sister gave it to me, so shout out to my sister for hooking me up. But um, so what I do with this is a little bit goes a long way. Okay, so I put it in my hair today. So what I do is I'll shake it up and. I literally just do that and then just a little little bit because I like to have like kind of messy big hair and that's it see big hair big hair don't care so and 
it smells so good so um i don't know how much this is i do know that this product is usually i haven't seen it at like a sally's or anything um when i go to cosmo prof it is there so when i want to say this one's like 18 bucks so there we go yes yes that's it ag so if you guys are in the market maybe you could check out like amazon or something or if you guys have like the hair show or ask your stylist or whatnot to pick it up for you, highly worth it. It's better than the Kenra texture spray and it smells better too. So look at the show this dirty. But this is my cold one um, bootleg Yeti. So this this thing didn't come with it. My coworker gave it to me um, because I was like always holding it. And so I got this, okay. I have like my drink in there. But so you could, here's the top. This part comes off so you can have like a hot beverage in it or you can take this part up and put your straw in and I got mine at Costco so they come in different colors I got the so there were two for 20 and I got both stainless steel I gave one to my sister-in-law though because I'm cool like that and um, it came with extra straws it keeps like so when I go to work in the morning um, so I start at 6 right so I'll get to work in the morning um, and then around like 6.15, I'll run upstairs, I'll put ice and water in there, and I will like put a drop in or whatnot. And so by the time I leave for work that same day at 2.30, it still has the ice in there from Two 6.30. Two more things, guys. That's Two last things are cleaning products. So um, I jumped on the Dr. Bronner's bandwagon here, and I got this baby. The 18-in-1 Pure Castile Soap. This is in hemp rose um they had like some really weird scents they had like a eucalyptus and i felt like that may have been too much for my house and then they had like peppermint and didn't want to do that so anyways what i've been using this for i just use it to clean all my makeup brushes and it was so fire it did such a good job and um i've been making my like own like cleaners for the house um and I will never, ever go back, ever go back to a regular cleaner ever again. Um, I just use this for, like, to mix my, I use it in my hardwood clean, hardwood floor cleaner. I mean, you can see my floors from behind there. I am sitting on the floor. Um, you can see my floors. I mean, they're shining. They look so good. Um, and uh, I make, like, a multi-purpose cleaner. With the, and it's, this is in there. I can clean my stove and get the grease off. I can clean my, my windows. I can clean my mirrors no streaks I cannot believe it I cannot and this one smells really good it smells like like uh like flowery like a rose yeah like kind of like the rose hip spray the rose the rose water spray or whatever that's what it smells like so I love it only thing I didn't love was the price this bad boy was $17 um but I bought it at Target my sister said she's seen hers at Beth but Bath and Beyond for 12 just because she went and got one. So I might look there when this is out. But I heard this. I mean, I've used a ton of it. I've used it so many times already, and I've only used that much. So this will last me forever. So I'm not really um, I'm not really too worried about it. But, I mean, this will definitely change your cleaning game, guys. I mean, they say you can use this stuff for everything, like for soap, for mopping your for floors. What else? Cleaning your dogs, shaving your legs. I don't know you can use it for everything so i mean look it up pinterest has tons 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 of uh of recipes too and like the recipes but yeah like cleaning recipes and like 10 million ways for what you can use the soap for so look it up you will not regret it if you guys get it message me below on what fragrance you get and which one or if you have it tell me which one which fragrance you like the best because I want to like kind of experiment and last but not least is da -da -da, borax um weird thing that i got borax because um my mom says that she remembers her mom using or like you seen borax when she was a kid and my daughter when i came home with it she's like oh did you get that for me and i was like borax why would you want borax well i thought you would want to make frick make slime and i was like oh no it's for me borax came through this month for me this is my second box borax um let's see got the uh, grease build up off my stove off my burners off the side of my fridge off my cabinets 
they look brand new um it killed the weeds in my backyard that were like not dying like roundup couldn't do it vinegar couldn't do it borax did it what else did borax do borax is part of my multi-purpose cleaner with my castile soap got my house looking good what else i don't know Shit's probably making my kids slime in there. I don't know. But for three bucks, Borax is the real MVP this month. But I think that is it. Oh, here's a fail for the month. Biggest fail, I could not believe it. Sonia Kashik's eyelashes. <sighs> so literally disappointed in Sonia Kashik's quality of eyelashes. I was blown away. They were... I, they came in a nice case. It came with its own glue. I had a girl I was going to do their makeup, and um, I needed some eyelashes. And Target, for some reason, had like one pair in the regular aisles. I'm just walking past, and I seen Sonia Kashuk had it. I love Sonia Kashuk. I love her brushes, her eyeshadows. I, I mean, I've used her stuff for years, so I was like, oh, snap. Okay, let me grab some of these. These have to be good. I haven't heard anything about them, so maybe they just came out. Garbage. They were legitimately like rubber. Like... Like they would, you would bend them and it goes boing. Like the lash, they weren't even hair lash, like actual hairs on there. It was rubber. The band was rubber. The hair on there was rubber. Everything was rubber. Garbage. Sonia, what were you thinking for those $5 rubber made lashes? Just so disappointed. Don't get them, guys. Don't waste your money. The case is the only thing that's probably the best part about it. And it was $5. I would have rather have gotten the dollar elf lashes. They probably would have been better. That's going to wrap up my May favorites. If you guys got any favorites that you guys have been really enjoying this month, let me know so I can try them out. I'm all about trying new things, hitting up the stores, seeing what I can get out there. Um, yeah, and if you guys use any of my stuff that I loved, let me know. And uh, maybe we can uh, swap notes. So I will see you guys next time. Thank you again for joining me. And if you are new here, um, welcome. My name is Danielle and, and uh, I am really looking forward to this YouTube journey and it's just really giving me something to look forward to and I'm enjoying all the people I'm meeting on here and I would love to be friends. If you're on Instagram, go ahead and find my link down below and we can be friends. You can see all my goofy pictures of all the random stuff I do out throughout the week and um, yeah, if you guys are looking for any videos that you're interested in me making, let me know and um, I'll see you soon. All right, guys, take it easy. Until